Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So in today's Playwright video, we are going to talk about that how to validate the elements using Playwright because Playwright is using different uh, types of locators. So we need to understand that how exactly we have to validate in Chrome DevTools because I cannot write directly in my script, right? Because I have to validate first in my Chrome DevTools and then we have to use that just like we do it exactly same thing in Selenium and other automation tools. For example, let's say if you go to Amazon.com and then you just simply go to inspect and then uh, you go to the Chrome DevTools and then press Control uh, F over here and then you can just simply write any XPath or CSS selector. For example, let's say I really want to write the CSS selector or XPath for this where ID equal to this. So I'll write, okay, fine, this is my input hash and then the ID and I can validate one of one. So fine, this is a CSS selector supported by uh, Playwright. But there are various other ways of creating the elements and which are supported by Playwright, which are not supported by the Chrome DevTools. You cannot validate them. For example, if you really want to use a uh, text is equal to something like this. For example, let's say text is equal to registry. That is not supported by uh, Chrome DevTools because it's a specialized uh, locator. For example, if I'm writing text is equal to, uh, let's see like this registry. See, it's giving you zero of zero. I cannot validate this with uh, with the Chrome DevTools. So in that case, I need one something, some mechanism so that I can validate the uh, locators which are supported by the Playwright along with XPath and CSS as well. So for this, what you have to do is you have to open the CLI runner, the Playwright uh, command line runner, and then you have to open the Chrome DevTools and then they will inject over there and then using that object you have to access that. So how to do this? See, if you go to the console over here, here if I'm writing something like Playwright, it's not giving you any option, nothing is coming. So when you run it with the CLI runner, you will get this object. They will inject this object and then you can just validate all the different locators here with the help of Playwright object, just like we do it for, for example, let's see window object or we use it for the document object like this. Because this is a document object actually coming from the Chrome Tab tools. But <clears throat> how will you validate the Playwright specific document and the methods? So for doing this, what we have to, we have to right click on the project that we have already created, right? In your IntelliJ or Eclipse. I'm talking about the Java Maven project. Go to properties and then go to the path of this project. And we have to open the command line. You must be, uh, you must have already gone through the video that we have already discussed that how to open any website and then how to do a record play and all such things uh, with the help of Playwright CLI runner. So I'm just going to open the terminal here and then I'll go to the terminal of this project. So this is the terminal and uh, go to this particular directory. Okay, you can see I'm in this particular directory. You can just open the same thing, exactly same thing in your Windows laptop also. And what you just need to do is that you need to execute this command. If you remember this command that we discussed about it, that uh, this one I'm talking about. Okay, I hope it's the font size is good now. Maven executable Java and all such things. And then you have to write code generation that I want to use it for which website. For example, let's see, you can just mention the any website name over here. For example, let's say I want to go with the amazon.com. Okay, so instead of this, you just remove this entry from here and you have to write amazon.com here. Okay, so what will happen? It will open one Chromium a browser and along with that it will open the playwright inspector also where you can generate the record and play a script also you can generate it over here so we are not bothered about this one we just let it be like this you can just minimize it now here you can see you can just maximize this window and this is actually the playwright browser window chromium window you can see that over here here right and now what you can do is that you can just write various locators how to do that see first of all whenever you have mouse over on any element see can you see that there is one a locator is getting displayed area label equal to search and let's say i really want to click on this particular i want to validate this text is equal to gaming accessories you are getting by default options over here like that see if you uh, mouse over if you go to the amazon music see text is equal to amazon music is written over here if you go to this particular careers link text equal to career link is there sign in is equal to the area label is written over here like that so how will you create your own locator? So what you just need to do, you right click on it and go to now inspect over here. So when you go to the inspect, see this, let's try to see that. Here, the DOM is getting open. <clears throat> you can open the DOM 
and shift the DOM to the downside. And now you go to the console. Just remove this and let me increase the font size over here. Now see, this is the Chromium that I've opened. This browser actually got opened through Playwright. And this is my normal browser, the actual browser that I'm using. Here, if I'm using the Playwright, see there is no option is coming. The Playwright object is not defined for the normal browser. But just because of this Playwright that I have opened, this browser that I have opened using the Playwright, now the Playwright object will be created over here. Can you see? This is the Playwright, right? See this? And now the option is coming. So I'll do one thing. I'll go to the Playwright dot, and then there is there are two methods, dollar and double dollar. Dollar means single element, double dollar means list of web elements. Okay, when we have to find multiple elements, then we have to use double dollar. When we have to find the single element, we have to pass single dollar. And then with the help of this, you can just actually pass either in double quotes or you can pass the single quote also. So for example, let's see if I'm writing double quote and I really want to validate anything. For example, let's see, uh, I'll simply say I want to validate that this registry text is there or not. So now I can write my actual playwright supported locators here or selectors here. See, I'm going to write text is equal to um, register here. Okay, and when you enter this, see it's giving you undefined. So let's uh, <coughs> registry actually not register. So let's write registry and see it's giving you span is equal to this. And if you really want to inspect this, that also you can inspect that. You just need to mouse over. It is actually giving you, you can see that, yeah, the span is available with some registry. Now I'll do one thing, I'm going to inspect this. So instead of dollar, what you write, you simply write inspect the element, and then it will actually moving you to the uh, element section, okay, to the HTML DOM section. And then it will tell you, yeah, there is one uh, span which is having that uh, find a list of registry. Because see, we've just, what we have written, we have written that, okay, fine, give me a element which is having text equal to registry. Now this registry text is, can have, you know, multiple elements can have the exactly same registry, right? So that's why it's not inspecting this one, it's inspecting something else, somewhere span over here like that. But let's say I'll do one thing, you just uh, remove this. I'll do one thing, just go to the bottom of the page and I'm looking for give me the playwright you I'll write it okay fine you give me that Amazon science I want to validate this one Amazon science okay so see this I'm writing so see in this actually inspecting this one can you see that right so with this approach actually you can validate that how many elements are available and then where exactly that element is getting inspected now I'll go back to this particular dollar and then dollar will immediately give you the object of that particular element here. This is the HTML a tag or HTML text of this particular element. Now I really want to check with a double dollar. See, I'm just going to check with a double dollar. And then it will tell you that how many elements are there where text is equal to Amazon signs. So here you can see just, it will give you an array kind of object. You open that, it's saying the length is equal to one. It means you have only one Amazon signs is available here, right? Now let's do one thing. Let's talk about this uh, registry one more time right so I'll write that text is equal to registry and this time I'm using with double dollar double dollar means give me multiple elements where text is equal to registry is available it means there's a registry text is available so see it's giving you there are two tags exactly same thing see the zeroth one and the first one in the zeroth one you are getting this one okay that is the spin and then there is one A is also available. See, when I mouse over on A, it's actually pointing to this registry. Can you see that? And the length is equal to two here. It's a kind of array object it will return, right? This is so nice. You can create any kind of XPath, anything, any kind of CSS selector you can create that. See, I'm just going to inspect this guy. Here you can see input ID equal to this. If you really want to create a CSS selector with this ID, with the playwright, so you can just simply write playwright dot single dollar and then you part put what this is what this is an input and in double quote first of all that you have to write so, or single quote also will also work hash and then the id see it's giving you this one and if you write with inspect it means it go to the element section and then inspect it over there okay so i simply write uh, inspect here and see it's actually coming here like this and then you can just directly use this particular script i mean this particular locator 
and then use it with your uh, uh, playwright script the way you are writing in with playwright with java you can use it or in fact playwright with java script whatever the locator i mean the programming language that you are using it you can use this particular locator anywhere perfect this is so nice in fact you can check xpath also see i'm just going to create an xpath now so i'll write that okay fine playwright dot once again dollar and then we know that xpath will start with two forward slash input at the rate id so i'm going to write input uh, this at the rate id is equal to single quote you have to write and then the single quote bracket close and then see this is also exactly giving you the same thing now you can use this particular xpath and start using it that's it right so like this also you can do that for example let's see i really want to check that see something this is something amazing that you can write playwright dot give me double dollars it means give me all the links which are having the text amazon in it for example let's see there are many links are available so you can see in the footer amazon devices and sell products on amazon sell apps on amazon all right you can see that amazon currency converter like that so my requirement is that you have to find out those links which are having amazon in it okay amazon text in it so how will you validate that it means i'm looking for the link a i know that all the links are actually associated with the a tag and then colon that i'm going to write and then i'm going to write the has a text method here and then has text method with what i'm looking for amazon actually it means give me all the links which are having a colon has text amazon see it's giving you 26 links are available on the page so you can directly use with this and then you can create a collection kind of list of a string and then get the collection of this see let's see practically how will you do that so i'll go back to my clips so i'm just going to open a page now so page dot navigate and then url is this what the url is amazon.com and then i'm going to write my page dot uh, locator what is the locator the locator that i have already created here that is the give me all the links which are having a text which is amazon okay only amazon so a has text amazon this is a kind of css selector that you have created and then i'm going to use this one and then this will give you number of elements we can clearly see that okay yeah, it's giving you 26 elements the array size is you can see 26 here the length is 26 so i'll do one thing in that case okay fine just give me the text of all the links so remember this method we already covered in the previous video all inner text which will give you list of a string so i'm just going to store inside the list of a string here let's see this is my amazon links list that we are getting right something like this and uh, just import your list from java.util package you really want to write a for loop you can write a for loop also you can write a stream also so for example let's say i'm going to write a simple stream here to just to print the text of each and every link so i'm then going to write for each e pass it to the lambda and then system dot our print allen and print the value of e that's it you can write a for loop also index based for loop or uh, for each loop also you can write it see i'm going to run it again so browser is getting launched and i'll do one thing meanwhile i'll just open the console also see the it's done and here you can see it's giving you only those links see amazon charity list welcome to amazon.com and then it's giving you number of links amazon devices amazon science say uh, sell product on amazon and so on like that right you can see that amazon ignite sell your original digital resources it's actually a single link single link text amazon web services scalable cloud and the compute computing services so i'm getting all the links which are having amazon in it right so this normal see this is a kind of a playwright supported locator which will not work in your normal browser see in the normal browser when you simply come here and then you simply try it over here see chrome dev tools will not work here you can see it's giving you zero of zero same thing you can go with the uh, selectors hub or any other uh, plugins also it will not work so maybe we can ask the selectors hub team also to support the playwright locators as well that will be a great advantage otherwise it will be so difficult for you to write the co i mean write the locator here and then you validate that in selenium what we used to do first we validate in chrome dev tools and then we write it in our script but same thing 
we have to do it something in play right also so in that case what we have to do we have to validate over here like this so you have to open the application with the specific uh, with the uh, playwright runner and then you get this playwright dot dollar and double dollar you can get it and then you have to validate over here like that okay so always make it a uh, best practice that first you have to validate here and then use it in your script let's see some more examples okay so for example let's say i want to validate a specific uh, uh, text that we have already seen has text also we have already seen you can create the xpath also so as i told you that okay let's create an xpath once again for the sign in so this is the a and uh, see this is the a and class equal to action button and then after that i want to go to this particular span where text is equal to sign in okay instead of validating here so i'll directly go to the console and then i'm going to write play right dot dollar and i know that uh, xpath is a string so in double quotes two forward slash first of all what exactly it is this is the a so i'm going to write a and uh, if any property that you want to write so let's see class equal to action button i'm going to write so at the rate class is equal to uh, action button see first of all it's giving you this one and then under that i want to go to the span so again i'm going to write it's a single element direct element and then i'm going to write a span over here see it's giving you the span and then you can use this particular xpath in your playwright script simple page dot locator and then you simply write dot click there that's it right okay you can create any kind of xpath you can validate over here right but there are some specialized locator which is supported by playwright that is the main purpose of using this playwright dot dollar and double dollar here okay now for example let's see i'm i'm looking for um i'm looking for something let's see just clear the console and then i'm saying okay fine this is my playwright dot a dollar and uh, i'm looking for something where uh, okay i'm directly writing has text over here for example if me give me all the elements not a elements having amazon in it so in this case how will you do that i simply write amazon so see i'm not writing a colon has text i'm saying give me any link which are available on the page or any element which are available on the page having the text amazon in it see now it's giving you something error for example up oh, sorry my mistake let me just this it should be colon has text and now it's giving you see it's a console is giving you the complete html and everything but instead of writing this i'm going to use with the double dollar so that it will give you the exact count here see now it's giving you the count here 102 elements are available which are having the text amazon i'm not talking about any a or something right so this is also absolutely working uh, fine here right now in fact you can change the application also for example you really want to change the application you can change it for example see i'm going to write that uh, copy this url and then paste it over here you can open a new tab also see orange hrm now this time is getting opened and you can just simply close the chrome dev tools and then see i want to validate something on orange hrm again go to inspect and now you can see that uh, the new chrome dev tools got opened go to the console and then clear all the errors you can validate anything that you want to validate so for example let's say i want to inspect this guy full name and where the input type equal to text and uh, id equal to this i want to write a quick csa selector with the help of playwright so i'll write playwright dot <coughs> dollar and then this is the i'll write hash id it's giving you input id type equal to this if you really want to use the inspect here you can write uh, inspect which is actually going to inspect over here you can see in the element tab it will going to show you this is the input but i would prefer always a dollar because immediately it will tell you what is the html of uh, okay of this particular locator and now you can just directly use this that's so simple that's so straightforward that we have seen right now if you really want to uh, write once again let's see with the dollar and then i'm going to check with the input and uh, <clears throat> if you really want to check that remember the visible flag i'm going to write visible is equal to uh, true here and see this is actually visible equal to true which is actually visible over here like this 
So like this also you can validate that. So you can just go through any Playwright locator which is not supported over here in the normal Chrome Dev Tools. You can just simply use it with the Playwright dot dollar. This is just a small thing but very important because in the normal Chrome Dev Tools the Playwright based locators will not work. So you have to open in the CLI and then validate whatever you want to validate okay over here so remember in the upcoming chapters i'm going to validate with the playwright directly over here so that's all for this video guys i hope it's clear thank you so much thanks for watching navin automation labs i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all